Volcanic activity near the Sunduka craters area, which erupted uh, lately, has now entered a very strange stage. Uh, first, latest uh, chart of the risk assessment shows that the Grindavik has now more risk of the cracks opening up. This is very close. This volcanic system is very close to the Fagadesvo system. The difference is that in the Sunduka crater near the Swartzengian Blue Lagoon, the magma is shallower, much shallower actually. And as such, the gaseous part of it can rise easier from the fissure, which was uh, close to the Sundunka dike itself. And this is what we see today. We see lots of steam rising from the previous uh, eruption area. Just less than uh, three weeks ago, this happened. And we can see on the chart of the earthquakes that the magma and the earthquakes due to it are very close to the ground. The continuation of the rising of the ground you see on the chart and the harmonic tremors shows that the magma is present there. Of course, we have the effect of the weather on this chart, but earthquakes are there. We can see a lot of them are from the northern part of Iceland, but in this area also, near the Sorsengi, Grindavik and the Sundunka, we have this, erupt, uh, this uh, uh, earthquake activity. Added to that, we have the rain in this area. Rain creates uh, steam. Fumaroles also rising from the ground, from the volcanic uh, uh, area, including gases like, for example, uh, carbon dioxide, uh, uh, um, uh, sulfur dioxide, which can also disintegrate and form yellow sulfur. Uh, things like uh, hydrogen chloride, which uh, mixed with the water can create uh, sulfuric, uh, hydrochloric acid. Dogs, if they drink from the water around that area, will be affected by that. And also steam, water, water vapor created. The um, yellowing of the rocks around this area is because of that sulfur part of the fumaroles. But today we have mostly water vapor, mostly due to the precipitation evaporation.